Hello, men. Good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, Pastor. Hello. How are you? Good afternoon. Doing very well. A lovely day again. We give God thanks and we give, give Him praise. All the glory. All the glory belongs to Him. And we're continuing with this absolutely fantastic and wonderful series on God's love. The God kind of love. And today we are actually going to talk about the God kind of love in action. In action. In action. Faith. And I've just written something out very small before we talk about this. Just to set it in context. Faith is a foundation and context or content of God's message. Mm -hmm. Hope is the attitude that we should have and love is the action. So again, we are talking about the God kind of love in action. And we're actually going to focus on, I know this is your favourite scripture, Pastor, or one of them I should say, First Corinthians chapter 13 the love scripture well we looked at that scripture earlier on in our in our previous um session and we talked about first corinthians 13 and i read from the um new king james version i believe but today i want to look at the king james version i love the king james version it's, it's a beautiful it's a beautiful version simply because instead of um, most translations nowadays use the word love in its translations of first uh, corinthians 13 but the king james version uses the word charity which i love so i'm going to read the king james version of first corinthians 13 and it says charity suffereth long and is kind charity envieth not charity vaunteth not itself is not puffed up, doth not behave itself unseemingly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil, rejoiceth no iniquity, but rejoice in truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Charity, charity. And I know we need to really unpick that word charity it's a king you know a word from the king james's version um what we would typically say is old english but i think that really encapsulates fully the word love it does it does pastor the the use of the word charity describes a, a love that is giving something that gives unfortunately in in our society today the word love is used quite loosely sometimes and we tend to often sometimes even associate love with that of a romantic type of love that eros type of love which only concerns itself with feelings and and flesh. And, and, the and, and and the self whereas the love that is used in the bible here in first corinthians we see is that unconditional love is that love that we talked about in the past um, session which is known as agape and that love that love is a giving love that love can only be described as a charitable love that's wonderful and i was reading um, the spirit and life bible this morning and the commentator was actually saying, um, oh, Pastor, oh, his name slipped my mind, but he was saying that we could substitute the word charity or love with Jesus. Mm -hmm. Because God is love. That's what the Bible says. So instead of that word charity, we could really substitute the word Jesus in that place or a substitute for that word yes and i think what we what we were aiming to do today is to break down the god kind of love in action by looking at a few of these key scriptures and giving some real life examples to really bring it to life oh yes oh yes so i think we could start with verse 4 first corinthians 
13 yeah. verse 4 love is patient and kind oh dear well I know right there we've got some of the viewing audience love is patient and kind how many of us could actually say that on any given day that we even practice being patient and being kind? Come on, I have children, I have a daughter, and I know sometimes it really takes the grace of God to keep me being patient. Being kind is something for my daughter that I'm, I would do naturally, but maybe for others I might second I, I might take a moment <laughs> before i would say that i would act in kind so many of us would say mm, i'm not quite sure about that patience thing or being kind how can how can we well this is a very i mean this is fantastic right because let us really look at it practically when you're driving <laughs> yes and I know on occasions I must confess I've lost my rag. But when you're driving, but I am trying through the grace of God to practice patience. Perhaps during that moment when I'm rushing to go to work or when I'm rushing to visit a, a member or if I'm rushing to go to church because I think I'm, I'm going to be late. At that moment, I'm now trying to be patient yeah. because rushing isn't going to solve the issue. When somebody cuts me up, when I'm driving, I try to exercise patience. And so when somebody is quite unkind with their words, to be honest, nowadays, I ignore them. Because I have decided I am in control of my emotions and I can be patient. So somebody else's impatience doesn't mean that I now have to be impatient. I can actually be patient because this is what charity or love is about well charity says as well i place somebody else's needs before my own exactly. somebody else's feelings over my own somebody else's concerns over my own charity has compassion and patience and kindness are all part of putting oh, somebody yes. else before yourself yes, yes. thinking about somebody else before yourself and i love that example of driving oh, yes. because i've seen many people who have really lost you can only say the 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 rag in driving <laughs> and it seems to bring out the worst in so many people um because we don't like the idea of somebody else taking um our parking space That's or cutting in front yes. of us when we're driving yes. and we think how selfish yes. how inconsiderate and sometimes we need to think how selfish and inconsiderate am i being and again and we're using these typical examples because often as christians we actually are not kind or we're unkind and often we're impatient and we think, oh, well, that's just a, a driving or that's just a small activity. But I believe that God wants us to consider our actions. After all, God is patient with us. God is kind to us. And we're supposed to actually imitate. We're supposed to be imitators of Christ. We're supposed to be imitators of God's love. The other one.